Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword? Why I see lies, gashes the better upon them. Fern hellhound, sir! Of all men else I have avoided thee, forget thee back. My soul is too charged with the blood of thine already. I have no words, my voice is in my sword. Thou bloodier villain, than terms can give thee out. <laughs> Labor, as easy mayst thou the entrenched air let fall thy blade on vulnerable crests. I bear a charmed life, which must not yield to one of woman born. Despair thy charm, and let the angel whom thou still hast served tell thee Macduff was from his mother's womb untimely ripped. Accursed be that tongue that tells me so, for it hath cowed my better part of man. And be these juggling fiends no more believe that totter with us in a double sense, that keep the word of promise to our ear and break it into our hope. I'll not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward, and live to be the show and gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarer monsters are painted upon a pole, and under whip, here may you see the tyrant. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet, and to be baited with the rabble's curse. Thou Burnham would be come to Dunsinane, and thou opposing of no woman born. And yet I will try the last. Before my body, I throw my warlike shield. Lay on, Macduff, and damned be him that first cries. Hold! Enough! <laughs> Your son, my lord, has paid a soldier's debt. He only lived but till he was a man. <laughs> the witch no sooner had his prowess confirmed in the unshrinking station where he fought, but like a man he died. Then is he dead? Aye, and brought off the field. Your cause of sorrow must not be measured by his worth, for then it hath no end. Had he his hurts before? I on the front. Why then, God soldier be he? Had I as many sons as I have hairs, I would not wish them to be a fair death. And so his knell is rolled. He's worth more sorrow, and that I'll spend for him. He's worth no more. They say he parted well and he paid his score. And so God be with him. He never comes newer comfort. Hail, King, for thou so art. Behold where he stands, the usurper's cursed head. The time is free, I see thee compassed with thy kingdom's pearl. That speak my salutation in their minds, whose voices I desire aloud with mine. Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, King of Scotland! Hail, King of Scotland! We shall not spend the large expense of time. Before we reckon with your several loves, and make us even with you, my thanes and my kinsmen. Henceforth, the earls, the first ever Scotland. In such an honor named, what's more to do, which would be planted newly with the time, as calling home our exiled friends abroad, that fled the snares of watchful tyranny, producing forth the cruel ministers of this dead butcher, and his fine like queen, who as tis thought by self and violent hands, took her own life. This, what needful else that calls upon us, by the grace of grace, we will perform in measure, time, and place. So thanks to all, at once, and to each one. 
whom we invite to see us crowned at Scone. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. So 